The first Australian-made orbital rocket has crashed shortly after launching from North Queensland. Reporter Baz Ruddick has more from Bowen. It wasn't quite, you know, the, the vision that people have from, you know, all the, all the footage that we've seen from, from the States. It wasn't, you know, that, that, that archetypal rocket that, that, that went straight up into the sky. It was, it did take off briefly and there was a big, big, big puff of smoke and then a, and then a white plume. Um, so at this stage, we don't actually know how high the rocket went, but it, it did take off. So it's, this has been a long time coming. The rocket's been up here at Bowen at the pad for about a year and a half. And this is actually the third time Gilmore Space Technologies has attempted to uh, launch this rocket, the Eris-1 rocket, which is a 23-metre rocket. Now, the um, in the past, they've, they've, they've uh, often been thwarted by technical problems. They've, they've had... Uh, you know, cockatoos chewing wires. They've had un, 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 um, unfavourable wind conditions, but this time today was was perfect for the for the startup, and 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 they attempted and and yeah, they made a show. I mean, we had it's hard to it's hard to believe, but we had about um, fifty people that were gathered here on Flagstaff Hill who'd come early to watch it, and that most of them had been here before to try and see it. Yesterday afternoon, you know, there was crowds that were waiting for about three hours with with, with bated breath, you know, trying to catch a glimpse of this rocket so in some ways it was a little bit anticlimactic but I think for the company itself you know they will consider this a, um, a success. Yeah and I'm glad the cockatoos were kept away. Um, tell us why is it so significant? Well this is so significant because this is the first Australian manufactured rocket to take, up, take off from Australian soil so rockets have taken off from Australia in the past but it's been it's been many decades um, since that's happened so you know historically Space has been the been the, the realm of you know interna of international space agencies that were that were uh, that are backed by, um, by by governments. But now we've seen more and more private companies that are actually coming in and, and sort of filling that space. The the need or the uh, the demand rather for satellites in in space is is only growing and has grown a lot in the last ten years. So it's really I guess a, it's 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 an expensive industry to be a part of, but it's, um, but it's, you know, but there's, there's definitely a need, a demand there and there's, you know, and there's people who are willing to do it. So as I said before, we haven't heard from Gilmore Space Technologies yet. We are expecting, hopefully, fingers crossed, some pictures out of them a little bit later. They've got cameras set up at the pad. We are actually 20 kilometres away, so you can understand what we saw, um, you know, was just a puff of smoke on the, on the horizon. But hopefully we will get some pictures, pictures from them. But they said yesterday, you know, that if if they did get off the pad, and um, then then that would be that would be deemed a success. So I'm sure, while members of the public might be a little bit disappointed, I think they would be absolutely stoked at this progress and and probably planning for the next one. So that's the hope that you know they can they can do this again and again from this site here in Bowen. Reporter Baz Ruddick there, reporting from Bowen in Queensland. Thank you.